what, what the haters talking about. Black leaders and organizations are aggressively responding to calls from the GOP and liberal organizations to denounce Farrakhan. But the Nation of Islam clapped back at three members of the Congressional Black Caucus, Danny Davis, Barbara Lee, and Gregory Meeks, calling them sellouts to Farrakhan's critics that include the KKK, white nationalist organizations, and a number of liberal organizations. Rightfully so. Conservatives and racist liberals hate Farrakhan. Who allows their enemies to pick their friends? They haven't asked them to denounce Donald Trump, who is clearly a racist. Furthermore, they haven't asked them to denounce his friends. If they did, they'd have to clear out his whole cabinet because they're crawling with racists and people who make incendiary comments on the daily. Has Gregory Meeks, Barbara Lee, and Danny Davis ever went out of their way to disassociate themselves with any of those people? Have they denounced law enforcement in America who targets black people like wild game hunting? Have they asked them to denounce this school to prison pipeline and the people who participate in it? The people who organize it? No. I wonder why. I don't agree with everything Farrakhan says, just like he don't agree with everything I say. We all say things from time to time that rub people the wrong way. But action speaks louder than words. And this man has put in decades of action uplifting the black community, putting his life on the line, something that few, if any, of his critics have been willing to do. Then you got your critics that say, well, what about Chicago? Farrakhan lives in Chicago, and Chicago is one of the worst cities in America. Operative phrase, dummy, in America. Farrakhan don't own law enforcement. He don't run the school system. He's not running the courts. But I can tell you what, the things that he do run, the initiatives that he has started, to save black people who want to be saved are working. And he has saved thousands. Go tell that. Black excellence has never set well with America's agenda. You got black people that say, well, you know, I don't like Farrakhan because he killed Malcolm. You dummy. Don't you know if the government thought for one second that Farrakhan had something to do with Malcolm's death? They would have gotten a two for one deal and taken him down with them. The truth is you don't like Farrakhan because he's disciplined. He stands for something. He's a man. Furthermore, you don't like him because they told you not to like him. Who in their right mind allows their enemies to pick their friends? Since its inception in 1930, the Nation of Islam has been one of America's best known organizations offering numerous programs and events to uplift black people, yet you falling for the okie doke. To every single black person out there who's ever denounced Farrakhan, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.